Hello and welcome back to the channel. We are back to react to another Doctor Who 60th anniversary special and today I am joined by friends uh, Pat and Brooke. Introduce yourselves. I am the doctor and this is my spoon. <laughs> you can't go better than that. And I'm, I'm Brooke. What's up? <laughs> Fantastic. Um, but yeah, we're both well, we're all pretty big Doctor Who fans, and I figured why not have some guests to increase the amount of fun for the next 60th anniversary special. Um, <clears throat> I know next to nothing going into this. Um, I believe this is not the one with the toy maker that has been kind of teased as much. I believe that is the third special, but we've all watched the first one. I think we can all collectively agree that it was a masterpiece. Um, and yeah, without further ado, let's get into this next episode. I'm wondering who this guy is, and how Doctor, the Doctor and Donna are going to chaotically come into his life. Is this Isaac Newton? No, Sir Isaac Newton! Sir Isaac Newton, Al. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I'm sorry, the, the physicist in me is just... Yeah. Oh. Just a bunch of ammo! Fuckins, what the devil? Man holding an apple in 1666, are you? Sir Isaac Newton? Sir Isaac. Oh, not yet. Spoilers. <laughs> you got the control set to famous, or what? If I had control, maybe. But. The new title opening is so beautiful. It's so good, man. They've got that Disney money now. <laughs> <laughs> that shiny brand new TARDIS. It's got that it's, brand it's new TARDIS fine. feel. I swear to God, they add more things the Sonic can do in every single like season. It's mental. I love it. Uh, okay. It's. Yeah. It's, it's like annoyed. in Star Wars when you blast, you can blast a door to close it. You can blast a door to open it. You can yeah. blast a door to lock it. <laughs> it. I love it because they never make it feel broken, even though it's like the most broken tool ever. Uh -huh. I did also just notice the grip on the Sonic is very similar to Matt Smith's and Peter Capaldi's screwdriver, screwdriver nice. the black leather. I would have thought that in this instance Donna would be a little bit more laid back about it, but I guess, again, Donna's changed a lot. I think I think if, if they had gone there on purpose it would be different, but the fact that it was like, the TARDIS is broken. Yeah. So who I am now? The Doctor the is gay! I <laughs> It's called the HADS, Hostile Action Displacement System. I remember Tons this from. It's a classic Who thing. Didn't it happen with uh, mm -hmm. Matt Smith and Clara on the submarines because it was underwater? Maybe it was. I'm mainly remembering it because it was a Gary's mod mod, mod that allowed you to fly a TARDIS yeah. and I always turned it on. <laughs> but it was definitely used in the 11th Doctor Zero, I think. I can't remember the exact instance. Hot take, I think. Donna Noble may be possibly the greatest companion. I, I love all of them over the years, very but very few of them have that much kind of like character. Oh, she's the, she she's the doctor's awesome. best friend. It's for real. I think this is the only kind of doctor dynamic, been... with the exception maybe of Yaz and the 13th, kind of have that kind of best friend dynamic. I think most of them are like, it's it, it teases upon romantic a lot. Well, they did at the end of 13 and Yaz too, Oh, so. yes, yeah, yeah. But, yeah, this is the most platonic I feel like the Doctor's been with someone. Mm, you know, because at, be at the beginning of Eleven with Amy, it was a little flirtatious. I mean, and then yeah. she turned into his mother-in-law. Okay. Which means he kissed his mother-in-law. Yeah. The TARDIS translation. Oh, uh, yeah. Is that a Thunderbird reference? That was a Thunderbird reference. <laughs> I think that was, yeah. Do you think this was like stasis pods or something? Yeah, something like that. It's very mysterious. I'm trying to work out if this is going to be a, a, something that links to a, a an existing Who villain or like a brand new one. It's definitely the explanation. Well, personally, David's saying this is like something brand new that like, we've never seen before in an episode. Yeah. Or it could be a brand new look at an existing thing. It depends how you interpret it. But no, I think maybe it's probably more likely we're going to see something. Is it like a spit? I'm waiting for the jump scare. Ah, okay. I know. <laughs> Don't lick it. It's gonna lick it. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> no. I like how he tastes it and then realizes it's dangerous. Oh. 
<laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I love the salt, man. Right? I do not like the Scooby-Doo mentality of let's split up and search for clues. When does it go well? Uh -huh. No, never once. Not once ever has it ever gone well. The one thing I love about Russell T. David, he's very good at writing horror episodes for Doctor Who. I love the ties in of the original theme. We had it a couple of times. Wait, what? What? I was gonna say something a minute ago, but I was like, wait, no, that kind of fit. Uh, I'm cold. Mm -mm 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 -mm. I haven't turned the heating off. Honestly. Ah! I don't know if you've noticed, like, how else. Donna's looking at him. Like, she's not taking her eyes off him. Or Time fake Donna. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Like, that's the one thing I like. I I didn't like about the 13th Doctor's um regeneration that the ma they My rebuilt that the Master just destroyed Galfrey again. And like all, all that stuff to get it back, and then it's yeah, night, you... yeah. I wasn't a big fan about how the Gallifrey and Timeless Child thing was, was was done by Chibnall. Strange, this system should be swimming right now. Those rectangles, did you move all of them up? My arms are too long. Mm, oh, that's a bit fiddly. Could you pop back and finish it? My arms are too long. I don't like it. No. no. <laughs> I don't like right. it. Um. Ah. Um, <laughs> I don't I don't have I have a thing of body hair horror, I don't like it, and this is just no. <laughs> This is very Star Wars. It, I will find you! Like it looks like the, the big like like scavenger ship that Han Solo was on. Yeah. For the Force Awakens. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The one in Force Awakens. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, just the hand. Mm -mm. Um, no, no, me gusta. No, no, no. I don't like it. No, me gusta mucho. There's a light. I can see an eye. There's an eye. There's. there's... Oh. That. That's no thanks. That, there's gonna be something else. Something else is gonna happen. I don't like it. Okay. She's just gonna talk him until he goes insane. Made him concentrate on something else. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! Why does he talk with someone as stupid as you? Oh no! Christ! I love this like oh. psychological. I love how the recent arcs in Doctor Who have all been about the Doctor growing beyond his his traumas and and and, th and, and working on his mental health. The Doctor isn't really a poster child for mental health. Let's be real. <laughs> this reminds me of the arc with eleven, 11 and the um, oh, well, <clears throat> silicon people thing. Oh yeah, the, the flesh living. Bring your stupid. Of course. Where did he get salt from? You've got no choice. He's the doctor. He's the doctor. Does he just carry it around in his pocket? Superstition. That big one on the inside, bro. Two things at once. Oh, dear. Oh, come on. Oh, what do the shit? Yeah, I'd be a goner. What are you doing? Do you yep. <laughs> Stop thinking? What? <laughs> Absolutely not. No, I, I would not be able to. I can't send the silence of my own head. <laughs> We're as clever as you now. That robot won't stop us. Oh, that's going to be the interesting thing. I'm having the doctor fight the doctor. <laughs> He's scooting the tunnel. Oh my god. Who was the head of the choir? Mrs. Bean. And why is Mrs. Bean funny? Because it's the name of a vegetable given to a woman. This is it. <laughs> 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 and the TARDIS managed to repair itself as well. That's just a ploy. Uh, it's not a ploy. It's not a ploy. Shit. It's not a ploy. Shit. Not it's not a ploy. Oh, no. No. No, no. No, no. No, no. No, no. 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 No way. Mm, they're not doing this to die. So. Mm. My my little science brain, okay. I know I know it's stuck to here when it's anything, yeah, but yeah, like yeah. Here's, here's a skeleton on the edge of space 
a vacuumless void with no air or anything to do decomposition that freezes and preserves everything. Why was she her head a skeleton? Well, I said so. Well, written, Mark. Oh, now I feel better. <laughs> now nothing is wrong. <laughs> nothing in the whole wide world. <laughs> oh my God, so man! I'll never see you again. After all these years, oh, Doctor, that lovely face. <laughs> it's like springtime. And Donna's got her memory back. Without dying, which I recommend. Yeah, oh. well, I knew it. I never <laughs> lost faith. I said, he won't let us down. He'll come back and save us. Save us from what? World coming to an end. Okay, well, what did, what did you all think? Because I thought that was actually really, really good. Oh, that was brilliant. I haven't felt that, like, on the edge of my seat in a Doctor Who episode for a while. Neither. I mean... Yeah, I feel like the first special felt like a big spectacle, and this one was like, oh, I'm just watching Doctor Who now. This, yeah, no, like the, the first one felt like a special. This feels like... Like just business episode, as usual yeah. mm. the same kind of regular stakes but I, i'm really happy and i i've been feeling this probably really since i mean it happens with all the ever since i started watching dog 2 i found that a lot of the time they reuse concepts um so like the daleks come back again and he's like but you're all supposed to be dead it's like well we survived um i'm <laughs> so <laughs> i'm kind of like pleased that this was a fully original thing um not that i have an issue with like the daleks coming back or anything because we love a dalek but i really i don't know it was just they were a really interesting and compelling original kind of character for the doctor to face even to the point where the doctor in the end i mean if, you, if you're going about technicalities he got it wrong like had had again it was off by what point naught three or something of like a millimeter millimeter was it yeah? Mm -hmm. I was off by that small of an amount, and that's what, like, that's what saved Donna's life, right? That's mental to me. I don't think there's been an episode where the Doctor's really gotten it wrong, um, so to speak. Well, gotten it wrong and then nearly had someone die like that. I think it's been a while since we've seen something like that. I think. I don't. I can't really remember the last thing. Um, the fact that they just had that Isaac Newton thing in just for the fun of it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't need to do it, but it was just that good. It was. Just like... Now, now I want I, I want them to revisit Isaac Newton and have a full <laughs> episode with Isaac Newton now. With Isaac Newton. Oh. To be fair, I'm surprised they haven't already done that. You you think over the years of Doctor Who they would have they would have visited Source no, Country, it, but um, th no. you think it would have been a classic Who thing? You you and... would have thought, yeah. Um, well, is there anything else you guys wanted to add about that episode? Or because I think I'm more or less spent on it. <laughs> I I liked it. I liked that it was it focused on the Doctor and Donna because the last episode was more like. Generalized. So many things. Yeah, yeah. and all of that. And now I'm like excited for the third one, but I'm like, how are they gonna wrap it all up? How are they gonna figure out like why is David Tennant back? And then are we gonna yeah. see Shooty? I think we'll see Shooty in a regeneration. He's a, he was in like a little like yeah, part of the, the trailer where he's like, What's going on? Um like, What so... is going on here? Something like that. Yeah, that was yeah, a yeah. terrible impersonation. I'm never doing it again. Um <laughs> But no, there was that I think that's how like we'll we'll get that and then cut credits i think that's what uh, we're gonna get but, probably well, yeah i'm not ready to see tenant regenerate again i think the i first, think he's gonna first say one I'm ready was to go. so hard i i think i truly think he's gonna say i'm ready to go at the end of the regeneration. it's gotta be something to do with that because like all of the other doctors have had like fairly happy they've been like you yeah. know fairly like final about about regenerating and he I, was like he's like the only one that's been like mm, i don't want this yeah, yeah, it's like the, yeah, I think, 
Well, yeah, I'm just, I, I still don't know. I don't know if it's got anything to do with this toy maker villain because I know that he's a classic Who thing. But yeah, I, I'm just excited to see next week's episode. I, I've got a feeling it might be slightly longer to wrap everything up. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to have to find that toy maker episode from classic Who. Just yes. so I know. Because it, yeah. it's the toy maker. And I believe all I know about the toy maker is it was said in classic Who that he was like supposedly. Um, he was he's he's immortal he's eternal so he will come back and he hasn't yet made made another appearance i believe since hartnell so it's been a while but yeah mm -hmm. um i think i think we'll wrap it up there well thank you all very much for watching um you can find these two lovely guests actually if you tell them tell the good people where they can find you sure um yeah, you can find me underscore bedazzler underscore on TikTok, Twitter, Instagram, Twitch sometimes, YouTube. Fantabulous. All yeah, all that. Excellent. And Pat? My my uh my Twitter is uh Saint Pat underscore of stars. And so I'm not active. I'm trying to be more active. So yeah, it's, yeah, yeah, just if you want some crazy nonsense from this brain. It's... <laughs> to be honest, I find Twitter is a very hot and cold platform um, for me. So um, uh, you can find me on basically everything. I'm sure if you're watching this video, you probably you're aware of my existence on the interwebs. Um, but every all of these details will be down in the description of this video so if you could all give us all a, a follow and subscribe and like that would be fantastic but until then um i will see you next you all next time for the next 60th anniversary doctor who special you're on